A perennial contender in the CAA, the Northeastern baseball team continues to make waves on the national stage. With an experienced roster and several key additions to the lineup in 2023, the Huskies rewrote the record books and route to a program best 44 wins. The team returned to the NCAA tournament for the third time in five years, capping off one of the most successful seasons in Northeastern history. I think the success of this year's team, I think you can trace back to uh, the end of last year. And I think that momentum carry them forward this year right from the get-go of this beginning of the season where the team was focused on not just getting back to the championship but also to advancing to the NCAA tournament. The 2023 season was it was nothing like I've ever experienced before. We had a lot of new faces come in obviously coming off of last year there was a lot of things the coaches wanted to to change and get better at and I think we did a, a lot of that but the brotherhood the team had was unbelievable. We set a lot of goals from everything from team culture to, you know, conference championships to get into a regional to what we wanted to do in the classroom, in the community, everything. And so um, it was just an incredible journey from start to finish. I think this is one of, you know, certainly one of the best teams that Northeastern baseball has ever had. But the season itself, the, the journey, all the ups and downs, the obstacles we overcame, just reaching all the goals that we set out really just made it an incredible, incredible season. When we came back this fall, all the guys that were returning had that little chip on their shoulder. And all those new guys that we brought in really just jumped right in. They understood what we had gone through and understood where we wanted to get. So just the way this team meshed, it was able to set us up perfectly for this season. I think the thing that made the team very successful is there wasn't a lot of individual egos. Because we had a lot of guys kind of moving in and out of the lineup for most of the season. And if you weren't in the lineup, you were cheering on the person that was playing instead of you. This team, look at the accomplishments, all-time wins, right? Most wins in the conference this year, tied for the most wins. We set a um, single season home run record. I think we were second all-time in stolen bases. We were you know, third in the country in ERA, top 10 in stolen bases, top 30 or 40 in defense. We could kind of do it all. Uh, they won a lot of games. They beat the nationally ranked teams. I think we we're 4-0 against teams that were in a super regional. So there were so many great accomplishments for this team. Where do they rank? They rank right at the top, you know, near the top, at the top. Or will, that'll be a fun discussion for many, many years. I've been here for highs, I've been here for lows. So to just see this team come out flying from the very start all the way through till the end and win as many games and do everything we could do. So to be a part of history like that and potentially be the best team in program history means everything. Danny Cross and he sort of exemplifies everything we've been talking about, what it means to be a Northeastern baseball player. He didn't start early in his career. He just kept working and working and working. And he got in the lineup and he never came out for three years. He had an injury, had surgery, just played through all of those things. He exemplifies to me everything that it means to be a Northeastern baseball player. Tough, gritty, balanced, well-rounded, and, and a winner. The thing I'm most proud of, I would probably say the Defensive Player of the Year award I got this year. But going into the season, I knew that was something I wanted to do. I knew I was capable of doing it. And having put in the work in the years past to build the foundation, actually seeing it come through in my last year here was something that was really special to me. He's always, uh, you know, one of my favorites. Coaches aren't supposed to have favorites, but someone I was really tough on from the day he stepped foot on campus just to try to get him to reach his potential and to believe in himself and, and prove that he could do it to not only himself, to us, but other people that, you know, maybe doubted that he could do it at this level. And he just got better and better every year, got physically stronger, his arm got better, his speed got better. Everything he did about, you know, on the baseball field improved. And, you know, he having that type of shortstop in the middle just to lock it down, he was absolutely deserving of the Defensive Player of the Year award. We got a lot of guys coming back. They know what it takes now. They've been a part of history. They've won 44 games, the most ever done in a season at the school. And they've made it to a regional. They see what it takes to make it there. And now I think they've got a bright future and they're gonna be ready to make it back to a regional, win another CAA championship and make it even further. This program has accomplished a lot this last six, seven years. So I think this year just continues to add to what we're doing and, and makes it a place for recruits and transfers want to come play. 
Add that to a world-class education, a top 50 school, a beautiful campus, the city of Boston. I think this only continues to help us cement a legacy or, or a place, I should say, in college baseball.